Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video and this is going to be um, an empties video. Now I know from all the comments and inboxes and things I get you all do enjoy my empties videos. I absolutely love empties videos too. I think it's really interesting to look back on and see which products I use, also which products I'd kind of repurchase which are staple items for me and things like that. So I do really enjoy doing empties videos as well and I kind of get like a little bit satisfaction at the end when I've built up enough products and I think you know what like I've actually used every single one of them products because I'm sure we're all guilty sometimes of buying products and letting them sit in drawers in cupboards on shelves whatever and just literally never using them and um, I know that I am definitely guilty of that Um, so yes this is an empties video I just want to touch on another little subject as well Um, I'm not kind of sure what kind of videos I'm going to be filming lately because um, obviously we are in 2020 now we started a brand new year and one of my resolutions for the year was to save money and not waste money so I have put myself on a complete like strict um, no buy of makeup or beauty products or anything like that um, I will literally only be buying things that I use up and that I use regular that are like a necessity in my routine and only when I've used the product up will I be able to um, like buy another one so I'm not going to be going out I'm not going to be buying eyeshadow palettes like lipsticks I'm literally not buying any makeup um, and like I say I am being really strict on myself because of it um, like I found out when I moved I just have way 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 too much stuff and I did a massive declutter when I moved house as well obviously I am in my new house and as it stands at the minute like I've got makeup in three different places and it's just crazy like I can't keep track of it all I can't use it all yes I do makeup and beauty and things for work as well um but I'm talking about just my own personal makeup it's it, it is just absolutely crazy so yeah obviously I won't kind of be doing like makeup and beauty hauls because like I say I'm not going to be going out and like purchasing anything Um, the only way that I will be able to kind of purchase as such is if I purchase them from my um like I collect boots points I've, I've got quite a bit of money built up on my boots card so unless like I'm not going to be going out and spending physical cash if you know what I mean if I can buy something with my points that I've already saved on my card that's fine or if somebody gifts me something that is absolutely fine as well um but just to make you aware if you're wondering why there's not kind of beauty hauls and this and that that is why because I just I just really really want to save I think I've got to a point in my life where I'm sick of just wasting money for it like just for the sake of money being there and think oh I'll go and treat myself to this I'll treat myself to that I don't need it um, and I'd much rather save and you know put it towards the future and obviously something um, and I am going on holiday this year it is already booked so obviously I do need to save spending money and everything for that and um, there's just a few things that I would rather do with my money than go out and spend it on beauty things but nonetheless I'm going to stop waffling um, so if you do like if you do have any video suggestions um, pop them down in the comments below and I'll have a look at them um, and yeah hopefully we can figure out some other videos because I feel a little bit stuck at the moment because this was predominantly a beauty channel um, so yeah give me some ideas in the comments below but we're just going to dive straight in so right in front of me I have my good old trusty um, like big plastic box and this is full of empties, so I'm going to dive in. So the first thing that we've got is this Oral-B Complete Last and Freshness. And this is just a um, mouthwash. Um, I tend to buy mouthwash pretty much all the time. Um, if I'm honest, I don't buy any particular one. I just tend to get what's on offer. So yeah, but that was an alright one. Some mouthwashes that you can get are really, really like super duper minty to the point where they blow your head off. This one was actually alright. I can't stand them when they're really, really minty. Like Listerine and something. Sometimes that is way, way, way too strong for me. But that one was okay. Um, next product that we have is this Soap and Glory Best Washes. And this was the Spiced Body Wash. This was from, not Christmas Just Gone, but the one before. Um, and you can see I've used all that up. There's like a little drag in the bottom. But honestly, like, you literally can't get it out. 
came absolutely loved the scent of this i don't know if they brought this scent out again this year but i love it and i would definitely repurchase i am a sucker for soap and glory i didn't get any soap and glory stuff for christmas this year purely because i never asked for any because i've got tons and tons and tons of body products and i kind of want to get through those and feel satisfied that i've actually used stuff up do you know what i mean so yeah but i would repurchase that again um, just reaching over these are obviously staples in my empties as you all know um, I absolutely love Batiste and I literally use it all the time and um, this one's in the scent sweetie and I think this was a newer scent it was really really nice and cherry which I absolutely love I've already gone out and purchased my next um, bottle of Batiste and I've got it in the tropical scent so I will always 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 buy a Batiste shampoo I just love it dry shampoo sorry not normal shampoo um next up we have just a box color hair dye this is just a semi-permanent one and it's just by Superdrug I get it in the shade 6.0 light brown and um, these are always usually on offer two for five pounds so when they are I do stock up because I do just dye my own hair at home now it saves a load of hassle and it saves a load of money so yeah right then i have loads of these little lush bags um obviously i've used up quite a few bath bombs and things from christmas time um, i can't actually tell you which ones i've used up actually i used a couple of golden parcels which were again not from this year from last year um so yeah i've got like one two three four five six empty lush bags so i've used various bath bombs and bubble bars in there and um, you can see the glitter like floating all about the camera but yeah i used up those and again i have like a ton of um bath bombs and bubble bars and stuff so it was really really satisfying to actually use those up as well um moving on i used up this i don't even know how to pronounce it this came in it was either a glossy box or a birch box but i really really enjoyed this product it's kind of like a, um, a mask and a scrub all in one um, and I just absolutely love it. I don't know where to get it from or anything, but if I had the chance to buy it again, I would definitely buy that again. I really, really like the way my skin felt afterwards. Oh, the lid just fell off that one. I've got another product here from Batiste, and this is Instant Hair Refresh, and this is 2 one Invisible Dry Shampoo and Conditioner. Again, I think this came in a beauty box. Um, if I'm honest, this was absolutely crap. I would not recommend it. That's just my personal opinion. You might have it and you might love it. Great, but it just did not sit well with me at all. Um, next two products that I have are these Intensive Colour Conditioner. These actually come inside of these hair dyes this is literally one of the best conditioners that i use they're just oh, just absolutely amazing i always find that conditioners that are in hair dyes are so much more nourishing and moisturizing for your hair than standard conditioners that you just go and buy in the shop so i absolutely love these and i use them religiously love those i've got two because obviously i've used two hair dyes i must have binned the other box somewhere along the line but yeah um next empty is this yankee candle and it is in the scent cozy by the fire now i'm really disappointed in this because i will show you inside you can see the wick has completely burnt out but there is still so much wax left in that pot now i'm not going to bin the wax obviously i know you can do your trick where you can get the wax out and then pop it in with, um, like a tart warm or a melt burner so that's what i'm going to do so it doesn't waste the wax but to be honest when i buy a candle i want it to burn down evenly um, and usually I have no problem with Yankee Candles but with this one I did and it was it was kind of a shame because obviously I love my candles and like I say I feel like for the price you pay for Yankee Candles they should burn evenly and nicely all the time but yeah you all know I'm a huge lover of candles especially like Yankee Candles anyway I've got a few candles in this one actually this next candle that I used up is just this kind of covered glitter one again this but this was like more of a cheaper one I think this was just from B&M round about Christmas time um, and it was in a really nice like um, spiced vanilla scent um, the majority of it has burned down there's just like a tiny little bit in the bottom I'm not going to bother scraping this one out um, but yeah I did really really enjoy that scent you all know I love candles wax melt everything my house has to be smelling amazing at all times Times. then the next one that i used i've actually took the label off but this was just a one from wilkinson's and it was in like a um 
a tropical scent. I don't know if it tells me on the bottom. It doesn't tell us on the bottom, but it was in a tropical scent. And look how amazing that burnt down. That literally, it was probably one of the most cheapest candles and it burnt down absolutely perfect. You can see there is not a scrap of wax left in the bottom. That is how I light a candle to burn down. <laughs> um, next product. Oh, this is all covered. Can you see? This is like, this is not dust, by the way. If I rub my finger down there, you can see it's like the shimmer off the bath bombs. <laughs> So this is Studio 2000 System Professional Hairspray, um, number four, extra hold. This was bought from a corner shop. You know when you're in a rush, you're going out, you're having a night out, and you think, oh my God, I've got no hairspray. So instead of going to the supermarket, you just literally rush to the corner shop. I have to say this was absolutely rubbish. Um, probably would not repurchase that again. Not intentionally anyway. Um, obviously if I'm stuck one time and it's the only thing they've got on the shelf then I might have to purchase it but I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it. I just felt like it didn't give my hair any hold or anything and I just I didn't enjoy it. The smell wasn't nice either. And I think that's really important in a hairspray. It has to kind of smell nice for me because you're spraying it on your hair and it's like near your face and everything. So no, I didn't like that. Um, next is another Lush item. This was the Butter Bear Shower Jelly. And again, I'd had this for the longest time. I know that you can trade in these pots. If you get six empty pots, you get a free fresh face mask or something. So I will be saving these. Um, but yeah, I think I have kind of gone off the shower jellies. Like my kids love them. Um, I used to love them, but they're just a bit too messy for me. I just, I don't think I'll rush out to buy any shower jellies ever again um but yeah and then we have a little perfume sample and this is in boss the scent for hair and this is literally one of my favorite smells ever i actually had the full size bottle of this but somewhere in the move it has been completely lost so i cannot find it um so when i was sorting through my beauty products and makeup and things I've got like a huge box of perfume samples and I'm just kind of making my way through all of them and I was delighted to find, well actually I've got two, I've got another one of these as well so I was delighted to find this scent in with my perfume samples because like I say I've lost the full size one and I'm absolutely gutted about it but the only thing I can think is it's been left in the house move or it's just been misplaced or something because I cannot find it for the life of us but I absolutely love that scent and I would definitely definitely repurchase. Um, so the last items, like you can see the box is completely empty now, the last items in the box are some lipsticks. So I'm going to go through these. So the first one was this NYX lips and you can see by the packaging how old this bad boy is. This was in the shade Love Angel and it has completely gone. I really, really like that shade. It was such a natural like soft pinky nude colour um so I think they still do them I think as far as I know the packaging's just changed on them because that is literally like ancient packaging um next lipstick is by elf eyes lips face again I think elf has completely changed the packaging again and um, this was in the shade natural nymph and if you're an original viewer of my videos you will know that natural nymph was one of my favorite lipsticks ever and again it is completely gone it was just the most amazing perfect nude color and it just suited my complexion so much and obviously elf makeup is really really cheap and really affordable next one we have is this bella pierre cosmetics i think this came in a glossy box if i'm not mistaken this is in the shade mandarin and again this has completely gone this was kind of like a ready orangey shade um showing up more orange on camera than what it is in real life it's a tad bit more red in real life but that one has completely gone as well it's so satisfying when you actually use up products like fully um the next two lipsticks are barry m lipsticks sorry i'm not even in frame um barry m lipsticks one is in the shade 100 and the other is in the shade 52 so 100 was this really really soft like baby baby pink like I say, I've had this lipstick for years. This is not a colour that I would necessarily wear nowadays because I would just look completely dead. Um, but yeah, back then, and obviously I've had it for that long, I loved it. Um, actually, if I'm not mistaken, oh no, it's not this one. Um, 52, I thought this was kind of a peachy coral, but it's not. This is more of a bright pink because with that light 
pink one that I just showed you before this one. I used to mix it with like a coral colour and it, um, it actually made a really, really nice colour actually. I can't remember the number of the coral lipstick though, but it was really, really nice. But anyway, this is in shade 52 and you can see that one has completely gone again. This is just like your standard like bright Barbie pink and I love like a bright pink lipstick as well for going out and things when I feel a little bit more dressy. But yeah, so... I'm just going to kind of turn this and show you <laughs> the pile of empties on the floor there. Um, I think that's actually quite satisfying to see that every single product lying on the floor I have completely used up. Um, and I just feel satisfied that it's not kind of a waste of money. I've bought it, I've used it, I've gotten benefit from it. And to me that is actually satisfying. I don't know whether I'm just like completely like getting old or whatever. But I'm more about actually using products rather than just having them and having them for sure. Or just literally like buying every single release that comes out. For one, I just find it a little bit of a waste of money now. Um, but yeah, I mean God knows like in a couple of months I could change my mind again. There might be something that comes out and I think right I'm back on a beauty buying binge. Um, but as it stands at the moment, I do really, really want to kind of save. Um, I have just started doing a cash envelope system because I've been obsessed with watching videos about like stuffing cash envelopes and things. And it's a system invented by Dave Ramsey. So if you're curious of that, have a look at the Dave Ramsey cash envelope system. Um, it just helps you budget your money and realise what you're spending because for me I used to just spend on my debit card and because it wasn't physical cash like I would just go and swipe my card and it never really made a difference but then when I was checking my bank statement because it takes three to four days to come out of my bank I always thought that I had more money than what I had and then those three to four days would pass and I would be like oh my god all that's come out what I spent three or four days ago and you just don't realise like I could just never keep track of it that way whereas I'm using a set monthly amount and I'm dividing it between my envelopes and I have different categories for my envelopes and things and then what I'll do throughout that month if I need say I need groceries or I need gas and electric I'll go into that specific envelope and use the money out of there that I've delegated for each like each um, category um, and so far so good it's working and I'm absolutely loving it because it's actual physical cash that I'm using I can see what I'm spending and I can count it and to me I just feel like it's working for me at the moment um, and alongside the cash envelope system I am doing another couple of like um, money challenges if you like and um, basically what I'm doing I've got a separate kind of money box to one side and things that I'm just selling off like normal household things, clothes, kids' toys, things like that. You know when your kids have grown out of them and rather than bin them, you just think, all right, somebody else may benefit from it. So I kind of list it on Facebook Marketplace or Spark or Depop. There's loads of different selling sites that you can list them on now. So anything that I sell, I'm saving that money and that's going in one pot. And then I'm also doing the 52-week um, money challenge, which is where like... Uh, week one you put one pound away week two you put two pound away week three you put three pound away and so on all the way up until like 52 weeks and then by the time Christmas comes you should have like 1,500 and something pound so that is another one that I'm doing um so yeah I'm pretty serious on saving this year and I'm quite excited about it and um, if you have done any kind of money challenges or anything or you want to see me try a different challenge pop them down below as well but yeah this this video has just gone off on a complete tangent now but like I say um I'm on a no buy of beauty items makeup items stuff like that so if you have any video suggestions pop them down in the comments below and I'll have a look through and hopefully get some really good ideas for future videos and yes I'm gonna wrap this video up now I hope you have all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.